All right, guys, we got some big news right now for Bitcoin. Lots of stuff is going on. I know you've seen Bitcoin go all the way up to 64K earlier this week. It's probably going to end up breaking 70K by the end of next week. We're probably going to end up getting to 100K possibly by April or sooner, but we'll see. But what we got to talk about today is actually dealing with Bank of America and Wells Fargo. So we're going to talk about today. that today. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, all that good stuff. But let's go straight over this. Now, right now we're at 61.6K Bitcoin. That's extremely good. But, you know, we're probably about to go higher since we're getting a lot of good news every single day. We are down 2.3% in the last 24 hours. But that's just because we had a huge pump in Bitcoin, which is causing us to have a slight pullback. But we'll see if it's going to turn into a harder pullback or what. But what we really want to talk about is with Bank of America and Wells Fargo, because whenever we get two of the biggest banks inside of the United States of America, I believe the biggest are probably uh, Chase and Bank of America. But Wells Fargo is up there as like a top three bank. So when we get Bank of America and Wells Fargo both having news coming out today for Bitcoin, right as Bitcoin is almost passing its all time highs. And they're talking about how they're going to be adding spot Bitcoin ETFs to their offerings for their clients. This is absolutely insane. Well, let's just talk about this. So it says two wealth managers on Wall Street will support spot Bitcoin ETFs in nearly two months after the products debuted on uh, debited on major U.S. exchanges. Bank of America's Merrill Lynch and Wells Fargo will allow clients with brokerage accounts to trade spot Bitcoin ETFs following billions in demand eight weeks after it became available. But if you really think about this and think about what they're actually doing, like Bank of America and Wells Fargo, if you go ahead and go on their apps or you make a bank of account or a bank account, I almost said a Bank of America account, but yeah, Bank of America account or Wells Fargo account, they get, they give you the option of also creating a brokerage account. And Bank of America going through Merrill Finch and Wells Fargo just being who they are, you know, they, they literally allow people to invest into different stocks and things like that in ETFs through their banks so you can make a brokerage account through them now not only can you trade you know regular etfs and stuff now you can trade the bitcoin etf directly through your bank of america almost all of the wealth inside of america is you know tied up into these banks bank of america chase wells fargo and now these two huge major banks two of the biggest banks in the world really now allow bitcoin etfs to be purchased through their customers through their brokerage so this is huge, and this is only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and we're going to start seeing a lot more money flowing inside of Bitcoin and really the whole crypto market because of this. Because not only are they now exposed to Bitcoin, eventually they're going to start putting up more ETFs. Remember, the Ethereum ETF is also in talks. They're going to be coming out with the Ethereum ETF. Uh, what about when they make a Cardano ETF? Or what about when they make a top 10 altcoin ETF for all top 10 altcoins? What about when they make a top 50 altcoin ETF or a top 100 altcoin ETF? What about when we get the special ETFs where they have a special ETF that has Solana, Cardano, Polygon, Polkadot, and like Kronos? Like, let's say they start having these special ETFs where they have like five of the cryptos that they like the most. What about when you get the lower cap ETFs for lower cap crypt cryptos? So, this is only going to keep growing more and more, and this is going to be very, very good for the crypto market but let's keep going over this now they say down here um spot bitcoin etf issuers include some of the largest asset managers in the u.s such as blackrock and fidelity obviously they've been joined they're like the first ones to do it but however wirehouses and traditional banks initially refrained from offering the products you know at first they were like no we don't want to do this we're going to boycott it so vanguard Citibank, and ubs boycotted it but now they're, they got to take that back because now they see this is where it's going. So now they're missing out on that money. So, you know, they're going to, you know, you know, they're going to follow suit now. But anyways, regardless, spot Bitcoin ETF providers have amassed over $20 billion in assets under management, which is a lot of money. If you look at all the money in Bitcoin, it might not look like I'm a lot of money, but that's a lot of money. That is a huge amount of money, huge amount of money. But anyways, the token is up nearly 50% this year, blah, blah, blah. Look, once you start seeing normal people talking about Bitcoin and about how everything is up, that's when you know we're probably going to hit and get into a like bubble territory where we just burst and then we have a large pullback. I still believe once we hit our all-time high and we go a little bit higher than that, we're going to have a huge 
pullback. Like everybody's talking about crypto now because it's up. Funny how no one wanted to talk about it when it was down. But now when it's up, everybody wants to talk about it again. So once you start seeing that happen, that's when you know, all right, you want to take a step back from buying and you just want to hold your gains and then realize your gains at a good point that's good for you. And then watch how it pulls back because it happens like this all the time. So usually we get that first initial pump, right? And then we have that pullback and then we have another pump, just like how we did here um, back in 2020. Well, the end of 2020 going into 2021, we had that huge pump, that huge pump, right? And right around the same time, you know, going into February, it was pumping. And then March, going into March, it was pumping huge, kind of like how we're doing now. And then it pulls back for um, it pulls back for a little bit of April and for May. And then it starts to pump again back in our next inside of like July and August. And then, you know, finally hitting its peak again in October. So remember, you know, like it could follow the same cycle. And that's really what I'm watching out for now, because if it follows the same cycle, then we're more than likely going to have a huge pullback coming like mid April. And then, you know, we're going to bottom out. And then, you know, after that, we're going to be having our Bitcoin having, which is then going to cause us to continue to pump up again. And it's going to create the same cycle, like how we see right here, this same cycle is probably about to be reenacted again. And it's crazy how history is repeating itself, right? And the time period is almost exactly the same. Like if you look at March 1st of last year, we were pretty close to the same price, but from 49K or well, not last year, 2021, but you know, from 49K in 2021 of March 1st to 61K of uh, March 1st inside of 2024. So that's pretty interesting. And if we're going to be looking at that, I mean, by April 13th, if we're going to be using the same logic and the same math, then we should be at about $75,000 by April, $75,000 plus by April, if we're using the same math. And then by November, um, we should be give or take, like, I would say $80,000. So if we're using the same math, then that's, that's what we could be expecting. So this is kind of crazy to look at, but you know, this is, this is a real, and it's probably going to be even more than what I'm projecting here because we have the Bitcoin having, now we're having ETFs. So we're having all this other stuff that's going to cause us to go up even more. But yeah, this is going to be crazy. But anyway, Spot Bitcoin ETFs capture TradeFi stakeholders, uh, Citigroup and UBS began allowing select customers to purchase Spot Bitcoin ETFs on the platform. So we're having even more people joining, even the people that said that it was a scam and that they weren't going to do it. Now they're doing it. And now we're having Morgan Stanley. We're having all of them. They're all going to join. But anyways, this is pretty much all I got for you all today. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think that, it's, that we're going to hit 100K during this bull market? I think we're going to get above 100K, to be completely honest. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. If you want the best automated trading indicators inside of the industry, check out the link in the description. And as always, I'll be back with another video.